Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I'm bringing you my collection update for February of 2018. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So before I get into all this, I want to talk to you guys about a few things. The past two months have been insane for me, just trying to keep up with everything, trying to bring you guys high quality content. Uh, we're closing in on 2,400 subscribers. We kind of seem to be at a little bit of a standstill right now. All I can ask from you guys is that you watch as many videos as you can. Be sure to leave them like ratings. If you really want to, leave it a favorite. I'm not sure if that still really affects YouTube or not. I know it used to. Um, and feel free to share any of my videos on social media. Uh, anything you guys can do to spread the word is always super helpful. Um, if you haven't already too, be sure to check out all my social media accounts. I have links in the description to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm always on those promoting videos, promoting movies, uh, sharing deals, just all kinds of stuff can be found on those. Uh, so if you haven't already, be sure to just like all and follow all my social media accounts. Um, I did accomplish one of my goals in February. I don't want to be too open about it. I don't really know uh, how open I'm allowed to be or whatever, but I have been receiving some screeners, which has been something I've been working for for years and I've, I've really gotten proactive lately. And I'm working really hard to just improve the channel and improve the social media presence and everything and try to uh, get some more studios on board. Uh, I've mostly been working with smaller studios I ha or distributors. I haven't really gotten any big deals yet. And I, th I think it's kind of hopefully a slow process you know I'm, I'm kind of getting my foot in the door getting working on some stuff and hopefully can get some trust established and get more in the future uh this this obviously has increased my workload reviewing a lot of extra content for you guys um and it, it also has been tough on me a lot of stress trying to make sure i get things done quickly as possible Make sure, you know, like I said, I'm sharing everything on my social media accounts and promoting movies. You know, what, whether or not I'm getting them for review or just, it, you know, if, if it's just a movie I'm excited about or whatever. You know, I love movies. I want to promote them. I want you guys to, to know that they're coming and I want you guys to enjoy them as much as I do. This has also left me a little stressed in another way, just trying to figure out... Um, you know, all the ins and outs, you know, I don't want to like, I don't want to necessarily like just bash a movie and then maybe, you know, maybe they don't appreciate that, but also I'm not going to lie. And I, I want to be honest with you guys and I don't want to recommend movies to you guys that I don't enjoy and that I don't think are worth enjoying. And I, I want to be really careful what I say. I don't, I don't want to, like I say, burn any bridges or anything. And, you know, I've also in the past, I've talked to some directors of movies and they've always been cool. But at the same time, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel like I don't want to be too hurtful to, to people. You know, they're people just like us. But I, again, I don't want to be dishonest. I don't want to sugarcoat it. And it's just, it's just been really stressful on me trying to decide where exactly that line is. And um, so I'm working on it all. That's, that's it, guys. Super excited. I know there's some of you guys have been enjoying the content. And uh, February, I definitely killed the budget. Uh, I don't think it was too bad because I did get um, a payment from YouTube. And uh, I made a little bit of extra money on the side. And so March, though, the budget's destroyed. Uh, for one, we had too many steelbooks. And for two, too many versions put in 3D that we didn't get in the U.S. So I imported from the U.K. I, uh, I already got... Um, I already got Thor Ragnarok. That unboxing should be up for you guys soon. Uh, I'll also be getting Jumanji, but that's not coming till April, so I might not count that till April. Um, and I'll also be getting uh, The Last Jedi, and I'm not even sure when that's coming out for sure. Uh, just things like that kind of really hurt the budget, but you know, I really want these titles, and I really want to share these titles with you guys. So if I have to, <laughs> if 
fudge the numbers a little bit. We'll make it work. We're still doing a great job not buying every title and um, doing really good. So this is the majority of the stuff. I hope it's most of the stuff. I, I do see right away one thing and I'm not sure where it is. So I'm not gonna try to find it. Um, and I also picked up a season of King of the Hill, but I can't remember which one it was, uh, either nine or 12. I'm only missing one or two now. Uh, another thing I've been trying to kind of do is fill in some of my TV show collections where I'm missing some seasons or I've only got a few seasons. And it's a little hard because those usually run a little more. Anyways, now that I've been blabbing forever, let's get into this collection update. It's in, it's in no order. Um, I'm going to try to tell you guys what videos I've made so you guys can check that out if you want. Give you guys little reviews of the movies I've watched. So let's just start here. Um, Only the Brave, this one is from Sony Pictures. And it's about a team of firefighters in California based on a true story. This was probably one of the best movies to come out. I believe this came out in February. I didn't pick it up on release date, but I'm pretty sure it came out in February. Uh, just a really, really great movie. Really emotional. Great story. Great acting. Miles Teller, probably his best movie. Josh Brolin, also amazing in this one. Uh, just really, really good. Definitely check this one out. Can't recommend it enough. Next up, we got Daddy's Home. Oh, I'm sorry. I already forgot. Uh, this one does have the unboxing and review up. If you guys want to check that out, remember just search for the title on my channel. Next up, we have Daddy's Home 2. Also did a review and unboxing of this one. This one's from Paramount Pictures. Uh, great movie. I love this movie. It's a, it's a funny family comedy. A uh, Christmas movie, really, too. So I think a lot of people are going to put this in their rotation for Christmas movies. Uh, just the whole family gets together and craziness ensues. Uh, Mel Gibson and John Lithgow were great additions to this movie and uh again not not as good as only the brave but a great comedy family movie definitely check that one out next up we have only only the brave again no we have wonder this one <laughs> another great movie uh, i did do an unboxing and review of this one it is from lionsgate films and this is a a really sad well you know i just I, I did an unboxing and review of this one as well. I, I would call this more of a happy movie, but it does have a lot of sad parts and a great story about this kid who um, has been through all these surgeries and his parents are sending him to school for the first time. And, you know, a lot of people are really mean to him and some are really nice to him. And it's just a really heartwarming, feel-good movie. Uh, Owen Wilson and Julia Roberts were both good, but they're hardly in it. So uh, to, to me, I just, I don't think it's about them. It's about the kids. But that is definitely a must-see movie. Next up, we have Day of the Dead Bloodline. This one's also from Lionsgate. And I did do a review and unboxing of this one as well. To me, this was kind of average. It was a really strange story about, uh, obviously, zombies and this one, like, <laughs> obsessed zombie who's somewhat immune. It was, it was really weird. Um, I, I did kind of like it, but it just it wasn't very great. That one's... If you get a deal on that one, check it out. Next up, we have Coco. This is the Best Buy exclusive Blu-ray. I wish they had done a 4K steelbook on this. I would really like to check this one out in 4K. Um, but the Blu-ray looked beautiful. Uh, I did do an unboxing interview of this one. This is an amazing story about this kid uh, named Miguel whose family is against music and all he wants to be is a musician. Uh, I feel like it has a lot of Mexican culture and heritage in it. And... Uh, about the Day of the Dead, and it's just really great. Um, this is another must-see movie if you haven't seen it already. Uh, this one's from Disney and Pixar. And then from Disney, we also have uh, Lady and the Tramp Steelbook was released. I did an unboxing of this one. Not real familiar with the movie, but there's a great-looking steelbook there. I did pick up um, Houses October Built 2 on Blu-ray. Uh, I don't think it was particularly a good price, but... Uh, yeah, I wanted to make sure to get it while it still had the slip cover, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I haven't unboxed this yet, but I did review it. I rented the digital version uh, when it was released. I really loved the first one. To me, this one was not as good. Uh, it's still interesting, but like I said, just not as good. The first one, I just really loved the style of it, and to me, this one just kind of 
they went kind of strange, especially with the ending <laughs> on that one, but it's, it's still worth checking out. Uh, so one thing I think I am missing here, I got the first seven seasons of Shameless. Uh, let's see. So like I said, season one, I, I unboxed it already. I haven't posted the video. That should be up soon. I'm just not sure where I put it. Uh, I did watch one episode. Uh, this one's from, uh, who's this from? This one's from Warner Brothers. And it's uh, on, I want to say, what's, what is this on? I can't think of the, I can't think of what it's on. I think it's on Showtime. I can't remember for sure. But anyways, let's just go through them real quick. I, I got all of them on eBay. Uh, we got season two, season three. I've gotten through one episode so far. They're like 45 minute episodes. And uh, it's about this really dysfunctional family that the dad's like an alcoholic and the kids all have to raise themselves. And it's, it's quite a bit of nudity in the first episode. I've heard there's a lot of nudity throughout the series, a lot of swearing and, and such. So it's really not a family show. Uh, but I'm going to try to get through all of these seasons. Uh, season eight's coming out uh, in April. So, yep, okay, those. Uh, 2047 Virtual Revolution. This one's from Wild Eye Releasing. And uh, I did do an unboxing, and if everything turned out right, you guys should have the review up already, too. This was a, a kind of a futuristic world where everybody lives inside this video game, and it was kind of like a crime mystery action sci-fi. I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was a very well done movie and a decent enough story, and definitely worth checking out. I think this is one of the first movies I picked up for the month because it's been a while. The Assignment. Now, you guys have probably seen this one in the Walmart dump bin. That's where I picked this one up, 788. It includes Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD and has Michelle Rodriguez and Sigourney Weaver. I haven't even opened it yet, but <laughs> I saw this, and I think I remember when this was coming out, too. I talked about it, but when I read the, the little description on the back, I was like, I have to see this movie. Uh, legendary director Walter Hill gives the revenge film a modern neo-noir twist with his electrifying thriller. Hitman Frank Kitchen is given a lethal assignment, but after being double-crossed, he discovers he's not the man he thought he was. He's been surgically altered and now has the body of a woman. When do you realize that you're a woman? The only thing I can think of is like he's unconscious or something and then he wakes up and right away he realizes a woman? Not much, much later? I don't know. But was just after seeing that, I was like... I have to see this movie. Uh, this one is from Lionsgate Films. I'll try to bring you guys an unboxing of that when I get a chance. Also picked up uh, South Park, the complete second season. It was pretty cheap um, on Amazon. I miss. I'm. I just have like sporadic seasons of this one, so I got a lot to fill in my collection. This one is from Paramount Pictures, or from Paramount. I don't know if you call it Paramount. Yeah, Paramount Pictures. I also picked up this one, the Chucky 7 Movie Complete Collection. Uh, pretty cool box. You, it looks, it kind of looks like the, the Good Guy doll box and has all seven movies on Blu-ray. The only one I had on Blu-ray was the new one, Cult of Chucky. Uh, I do have all of them on DVD, but this thing was so cheap to get them all on Blu-ray. I decided to pick it up. Really enjoyed Cult of Chucky. I do have an unboxing and review of that one. I think I have a review of Curse of Chucky up and I... Don't think I've really done any videos on any of the other ones. Uh, I'll try to bring you guys an unboxing of that one. It's like, <laughs> I try guys, I really try, but things are so crazy. Um, also found this one on Amazon for a good price. The Transformers, More Than Meets the Eye, seasons three and four. Uh, I was collecting these when they came out. This is the G1 Transformers. And they like released season one and then season two, volume one and season two, volume two. And then they had seasons three and four. And I just never picked this one up and I kind of want to see all these. I watched all the other ones. So, uh, pretty cool there. I picked this one up. Everybody picked this one up, right? Deadpool and this kind of weird slipcover version. Uh, it's the standard version on the inside. Uh, I haven't unboxed this one yet. This one is from uh, 20th Century Fox. And I just wasn't a huge fan. I never finished the movie, but I wasn't a huge fan. And maybe now when I open this, I'll give it a second chance. Um, a lot of people really liked it. I just, I don't know. I didn't think it was that funny from what I saw. <laughs> uh, I just had this, I had this order on Amazon, which had a bunch of stuff that was like add-on items or whatever. So I was like trying to get to, well, you have to spend 25 or $30 to 
to get sent add-on items. So I picked up 30 Rock Season 1 for like $5. I'm really not familiar with this show at all, but I think there's a lot of funny people in this, so I figured I would go ahead and check it out. This one is from Universal. Uh, this is another item from Amazon, uh, from the Asylum Home Entertainment. I love watching these kind of rip-off movies, and, you know, although they're, a lot of times they're not very good, I always just like watching them. This is Jack the Giant Killer Blu-ray. This is a few dollars, four or five dollars on Amazon. Now, I'd never heard of this, but I had seen it recently on Amazon, uh, Jumanji the Complete Animated Series. doesn't have, um, it doesn't have Robin Williams' voice in it. Uh, available for the first time on DVD, Jumanji the Complete Animated Series, three seasons, 40 episodes. This is like six or seven dollars. Uh, this one's from Mill Creek Entertainment, has a runtime of 14 hours and 25 minutes. Uh, I got the I Am Chris Farley movie, it's like a documentary or whatever. I wanted to check this out since it came out. I was always a huge Chris Farley fan. And uh, if you guys saw my top 10 all-time movies, <sighs> Tommy Boy is one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. Uh, this was another add-on item. I have unboxed this. Hopefully I'll get that video up for you guys soon. Uh, this one is like from Virgil Films. Uh, I went to a pawn shop and I picked up this one. I've never seen it rush with uh, Chris Hemsworth. This is a Ron Howard film from uh, Universal Pictures. I don't really know a lot about it. it. looks like it has something to do with racing. Can't be all bad. Uh, my dad wanted me to pick this one up at the pawn shop. Train to Busan. This is from Wilgo USA. And I don't really have an issue with it, but it's like in Japanese or whatever. I think it might have, or Korean. It's in Korean, but it also has English. So uh, I might have to check that out at some point. It also came with a slip cover, so that was pretty cool. Um, I picked up this one, Truth or Die at the pawn shop for like, you know what I think this one was? Yeah, this one was $2 and it was a rental version, I think from Hastings or something. And so they had put it in this kind of generic case, you know, and the lady was like, oh, it's missing a disc. I'll give it to you for a dollar. I was like, I don't think it's missing a disc. And she's like, oh yeah, a dollar. I'm like, all right, fine. <laughs> um, and I picked up this one too at the pawn shop for I think $2, uh, Dark House. Don't really know a lot about it, but it says from the director of Jeepers Creepers and the star of Saw. Uh, and this one is from Synodigium. Synodigium. I don't know how I say that, guys. But uh, yeah, we'll check that out at some point. Also picked up Cell on Blu-ray at Walmart. It was like eight dollars, seven eighty-eight. It was in the seven eighty-eight bin or whatever. Uh, I had seen the trailer for this recently, and I thought it looked really interesting. Um, about people getting taken over by their cell phones. It's, it's based on a Stephen King book. Uh, I did post the unboxing of that. Also got Anti-Human from Wild Eye Releasing. This is one of the weirdest, worst movies I've ever seen. I do have an unboxing and review of this up. It's just terrible movie. Uh, the production is so terrible. You don't even know what people are saying and you don't care. And the movie is just all over the place. The Devil's Well. This is also from Wild Eye Releasing. I did enjoy this one. I do have an unboxing interview of this up. And it's kind of like, uh, it almost kind of reminded me of Ghost Hunters and some of those kind of investigation TV shows where they're interviewing people. And it did have a few issues. If you want to know my full thoughts, though, uh, check out my review. But I did like that one. Uh, I found this one at a pawn shop, too. Uh, this one's from Wild Eye Releasing called Scream Park. I don't really know much about it. It was pretty cheap, a couple dollars. I uh, picked this one up for the wife. I still have the price tags on these ones, so I could tell you a little better how much they were. Uh, the League Season two, 3. She, I think I got her Season 1. Now she has Season 3, so we're going to have to keep a lookout for Season 2. Only $6 for the Blu-ray from 20th Century Fox. Picked this one up at the pawn shop too. Skip Trace for $3 for the Blu-ray. Uh, it's this Jackie Chan, Johnny Knoxville movie. I don't really know a lot about it, but I remember talking about it when it was coming out. And last up, I've been wanting to check this one out for a long time. Uh, Vice Principles. This is the first season. Uh, I would have rather had the Blu-ray, but I picked it up on DVD for only $2. Um, I guess this show's over now because we got the um, complete series coming out. So I don't know how many seasons it lasted, but I definitely was interested and I want to check it out. Uh, the only thing is Danny McBride to me is kind of an iffy 
but um, the, the I don't know if my daughter did this or it was like this. I don't remember it being like this, but basically the thing's broken so it doesn't hold the disc in there right. Kind of annoying. I guess if I like it enough, I could always get another version. But that's it, guys. I believe that's my pickups for February. Um, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Um, I'm thinking if we when we get to 2,500 subscribers that we'll do some sort of giveaway. I'm thinking about, like, I have a lot of stuff that I, I could give away. I'm thinking about doing, like, a pack of, like, five or six movies or something and try to kind of clear off that shelf a little bit. So hopefully we'll get there sooner and I can kind of do that movie pack for you guys. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave it a like rating. If you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. Check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. Check out my Patreon. And I'll see you guys next time.